Hello everyone and welcome back to Woody Cards. Um, it's been a bit, but uh, we're back with another video. It's been a few days. Um, and today we're going to be opening up some 2021 Top Star Wars Signature Series cards. And if you can't tell by the change in audio quality, um, I'm actually using uh, an actual microphone instead of just uh, the uh, microphone from my uh, recording device. So. Uh, it's like a Yeti microphone, so hopefully the audio quality is much better. I've had this microphone for a while. I just didn't use it for the first few episodes because I couldn't find the uh, the cord for it. <laughs> but I found it now, so hopefully the audio is much more crisp and clear um, than it was before. So today, anyways, we're going to be doing uh, we're going to be opening up some boxes here of 2021 signature series. Uh, We've done 2022 on this channel, just one though. Um, 2021 isn't all that different. Um, all the names, the big names in this is pretty much the same. The checklist is pretty much the same too, except uh, this one actually has purple out of 99s and the 2022 does not. It only has blue 50s and then the rest uh, below. Um, here you can look at some of the odds there. I think the odds are a little bit uh, better in this uh, set, which is also why they are a little bit more expensive. And also Samuel Samuel L. Jackson is in this uh, in this uh, set, unlike 2022. So there's another big name in here that's not in 2022. Uh, so um, yeah, we're just going to get straight into this and see if we can pull some uh, cool stuff. All right, so we're gonna go one at a time here, uh, and also we got the box cutter, so um, that's good news. We'll get through it much faster than with scissors. So I've actually never opened up this product, and before I do open it up, I just want to say, or I should shout out the seller on eBay who I purchased these from, uh, just because I like doing that, you know, helping people out uh, and supporting people who are, you know, continuously uh, providing for the hobby. So let me just look one sec. This was given to me, or I purchased it from um, BRFO-974 on eBay. And all these packages came in um, not dented or anything. Um, so they're all, yeah, really good. Sorry about that cut. I just had a little bit of an uh, interruption, but uh, we're good to go. So let's just get started into this. Start opening up some uh, signature series so first pack like I said a lot of the signers are the same from the current year so honestly looking for a lot of the same uh, that you would be looking for from 2022 so let's open it up first card of the day and ho 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 green let's see if you can see that my camera Green out of 25, Emperor Palpatine. This is not the Ian McDermott version. This is Sam Witwer, but still cool nonetheless. Obviously, you would want Ian McDermott, but still Sam Witwer. Really cool card here. Was not expecting that. Wow. <laughs> really good start. Um, yeah. Sam Witwer, voice of Emperor Palpatine. Really cool stuff let's just move this box out of the way not sure if we can uh top this but we'll see <laughs> we'll see that's just the beginning honestly really good start uh much better than what we pulled from our 2022 on the channel <laughs> much much better uh you guys should go check that out where i kind of uh review uh that product now let's open up open it up sideways now Let's see if we can top an Emperor Palpatine out of 25 card. Um, I doubt it, but we'll see. We'll see. So next pack. And we've got a number, uh, another numbered card. Um, not, as big of, not as big of a name, but still a numbered card nonetheless. It is Rook or Ruck. Oh, Warwick Davis, you know, that's a pretty big name. Warwick Davis is Rook. Um, not sure what he's from. It looks like the Clone Wars. 
I don't remember his episode. I watched all of it, but obviously not like super recently. But there is a uh, Ruck Warwick Davis autograph. Also really nice. So so far this has been a really good uh really good um opening. Um much better than uh, what we got from 2022. Although that was just one box. And so it's not really fair to compare. But anyways, let's just keep going. Here. Also, this is going to be pretty short opening because it's just, you know, one in-case autograph per box. So next one, another green. Wow. We're getting a bunch of numbered parallels here and low numbered ones as well. Three greens uh, out of 25s. This one is not as big of a name. But still a numbered parallel. We've got Hype Fazen. Uh, autographed by Donald Face Faison. Pison. Looks like they kind of have the uh the same last name there, which is pretty cool. Uh looks like this is from Resistance based on the art style. I have not watched Resistance, so I wouldn't really know who this is. But still cool card. That's three, move this out of the way. That's three green so far, which is really nice. Um, wow, was not expecting so many numbered parallels, but like I did say at the beginning, the odds are a little bit better than in 2022. So maybe that's why, but still, I think this is way, way luckier than it should be. Let's just get into the uh, penultimate. An ultimate pack here or box, I should say. Can we get another green? No, it is a normal autograph by um, Moloch. Moloch? Harley Durst as Moloch. It looks like this is somebody from Rogue One. It just kind of has it kind of has that uh, aesthetic, you know, the costume design. I could be mistaken though. I have no idea who or where this character appears. Um, so Moloch, an actual normal auto. Uh, <laughs> so now we're on to the final box of the video. Um, Let's see if we can somehow top this Emperor Palpatine's uh, signed by Sam Witwer. So final pack, here we go. Move the box cutter out of the way, don't want to hurt myself. And also I hope the audio, audio quality is good. Um, this is kind of a test run and I wanna see how it works out. Um, obviously I can't like put the box put the cards back in the boxes and redo this video so if the audio quality is like somehow messed up in some way sorry about that i'll just kind of actually i could just use the uh raw audio from my uh recording device um so if it sounds the exact same as my previous videos then um you'll understand that the audio from the mic is actually not as good <laughs> But if it does sound a lot better than previous, then it worked out. So here we go. The last box of the video. We have got a purple parallel this time. And it is Let's Go Alan Sleaze Bagano. I like this guy. He's probably not worth a lot uh, in terms of monetary uh, value for the autograph, but still... A really cool autograph to have Matt Duran as Ellen Sleaze Bagano. Um, this is the Death Sticks guy, if you were wondering. So here we go. These are our five pulls from the five boxes, and I've got to say, I cannot be complaining. Um, this Emperor Palpatine 
Sam Witwer. Let's see if you can see that. Number to 25, green parallel Sam Witwer. Um, kind of hoped it was Ian McDermott. Uh, but, you know, Sam Witwer is still really cool. And also it's numbered. And it's freaking Emperor Palpatine. I mean, what else could you ask for, really? And then we've got two more greens here um, of characters that are from the uh, shows. Um, Rook looks like, whoops. <laughs> Rook looks like he is from the Clone Wars. Maybe Rebels. Kind of looks like the Clone Wars. And then Hype Fazen from Resistance. That's a really cool autograph. And then these two over here, we've got Moloch, just a normal face auto. And we've got Ellen Sleesbagano from uh, Attack of the Clones here. Matt Duran out of 99 purple. So yeah, overall, really good opening. Um, for the next video, we're going to be opening up some of these Masterwork boxes from 2019, uh, Star Wars Tops. So look forward to that. That video will probably be uploaded uh, tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be opening up two of these boxes. Hopefully we can get some really cool autographs in these. And also expect another mail day soon. Maybe one more mail day or two. Um, and then another slew of mail days will be later down the road. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this opening, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.